Hello, this is Nick from Laptop Media, and today we will show you how to open the 2024 version of the Asus ROG Zephyrus G16, GU605. To get inside this laptop, you need to undo 11 Torx head screws. The pair in the middle of the top is hidden below small rubber caps. Then, lift the bottom panel with a lever tool or a spudger in one of the top two corners to create a gap. After that, pry the back and work your way around the sides and the front. Please remember, it would be of great help to us if you just hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. That would motivate us to make even more and better videos for you. On the inside, the bottom plate has dust filters in front of the vents. This device has a 90 watt hour battery. To remove it, unplug the connector from the main board and undo the four Phillips head screws, which fix the battery to the chassis. The battery pack lasts for 20 hours of web browsing or seven hours and 42 minutes of video playback on a single charge. The result is very good. To achieve that, you have to apply the balanced preset in the Windows Power and Battery menu and select the Performance Mode in the Armory Crate app. There, apply the Eco Mode to use the iGPU. You also have to turn off the AI noise cancelling for the speaker and microphone and the slash lighting to save power. In addition, the DC fan operation mode is set to Windows preset. The memory is soldered. You get up to 16 gigabytes of LPDDR5X RAM in dual channel mode for the devices with a GeForce RTX 4050. The laptops with more powerful GPUs can be ordered with up to 32 gigabytes of RAM. Here, the memory chips are rated at 7467 megahertz, but they operate at 5600 megahertz. For storage, you can rely on two M.2 slots for 2280 Gen 4 SSDs. There is a cooling pad beneath the NVMe. The cooling features a three-fan design. Keep in mind that the third fan isn't available for all configurations. It helps for faster heat dissipation. Two heat pipes are shared between the CPU and the GPU. The third one cools down the processor, the graphics card memory, and the voltage regulators. The fourth pipe is solely dedicated to the GPU. We can also spot two heat sinks and a bunch of heat spreaders. Asus has pre-applied liquid metal on the CPU chip. By the way, the machines with RTX 4080 and RTX 4090 rely on vapor chamber cooling.